comedy film written and directed by Tom Six. It is the conclusion to Six as the Human Centipede Trilogy. Starring Dieta Laser and Lawrence I. Harvey, the leading actors from the first two films, in new roles, The Human Centipede 3 was released both theatrically and on video on demand on the 22nd of May 2015. The film was slammed with negative reviews from critics. Quick Facts The Human Centipede 3, directed by Plot At George H. W. Bush State Prison in southwestern United States, William Bill Boss, a cigar-smoking, chauvinistic, arrogant, racist, psychopathic warden, watches the end of The Human Centipede 2 with his accountant. Dwight Butler. Dwight explains his pitch of a brilliant idea to fix the prison's horrible retention and violence rates, but he is interrupted by a phone call. Back in the warden's office, Bill receives a mysterious package, which is revealed to contain a jar of specially imported, dried African clitorises which he eats for strength. After eating a few, he receives a threatening prank phone call from one of the inmates. Bill waterboards him with three buckets of boiling water, horribly disfiguring him. Governor Hughes arrives immediately afterwards, ordering Bill and Dwight to put a stop to the violence and promising that they will both be fired otherwise. In anger and retaliation, Bill orders a mass castration of the inmates and castrates one of the prisoners himself, then cooking and eating the testicles for energy food. Finally, Dwight is able to pitch his idea to Bill, where he suggests that all of the inmates are sutured together mouth to anus, forming a giant human centipede, which would deter anyone considering a life of crime. Bill is skeptical and opposed to the idea. Bill then has a nightmare about being attacked by inmates, and being raped in the kidney by the inmate he castrated. Bill then summons the director himself, Tom Six, to the prison. Bill is assured that the films are 100% medically accurate. Six gives the prison permission to use his centipede idea, provided that he is permitted to witness the operation. The first two films are then shown to the inmates as a display of their future. This causes a riot, which allows inmates to chase Bill and Dwight to the warden's office, where they beat his assistant Daisy unconscious. Bill then goes around each cell and shoots every inmate with tranquilizers, readying them for the operation. Incompatible inmates, such as one with a stomach, and one with a disability are shot and killed. They also discover an inmate with Crohn's disease, who suffers from severe diarrhea. Bill orders the man who raped him in a dream to be attached to him as an added punishment. Daisy is revealed to be in a coma, where she is raped by Bill. Six returns to the prison, where he is met by Bill and Dwight. After touring the cells, they discover a mentally unstable inmate eating his own feces wanting to be sewn to the centipede. In response, Bill shoots and kills the inmate. Death row inmates are discovered being dismembered for a special project. Upon the centipede's completion, Governor Hughes arrives disgusted at what he sees. In addition to the centipede, a human caterpillar where the victim's limbs have been amputated has been created for inmates serving life sentences. It is also revealed that Daisy has accidentally been sewn into the centipede. Hughes leaves the prison, telling Dwight and Bill they should receive the death sentence. Hughes then returns to prison with a sudden change of heart, stating that the centipede punishment is exactly what America needs. The film ends with Dwight and Bill celebrating their success. Dwight is then shot and killed for trying to take credit for the idea. The final scene is of Bill screaming with joy overlooking the centipede while the Star Spangled Banner plays. Cast. Dieter Laser as William Bill, boss. 
Lawrence A. Harvey as Dwight Butler. Robert Lazardo as inmate 297. Tommy Tiny Lister, Jr. as inmate 178. Jay Tavar as inmate 346. Eric Roberts as Governor Hughes. Brie Olson as Daisy. Clayton Ronner as Dr. Jones. Tom Six as himself. Hamza Simon as inmate 093. Peter Blankenstein as inmate 106. Carlos Ramirez as inmate 309. Bill Hutchins as inmate 488. Chris Clinton as prisoner. Akihaya Rokitamu as inmate 333. Basil Fiery as inmate 310. Daniel Twifeathers as stab prison guard. Production. Six noted that casting for the third film was much easier than the first, as more people were familiar with the concept and wanted to appear in the film. To this end, Eric Roberts was easier to attract to the film, because according to Six, he was a fan of the original. Six decided to cast porn actress Brie Olsen because he wanted a female character, even though the movie was set in an all-male prison, and wanted the ultimate American female, which he believed to be a porn actress. Both Laser and Harvey had starred in previous entries as the main antagonists, Dr. Yosef Hitter and Martin, respectively. Six chose a prison setting to bring back the theme of punishment that generated the idea for the series. Although Six admits that I totally ignored in the first two films, Six filmed the movie in the style of a Hollywood film, which according to him meant shooting everything widescreen with over-the-top color grading and big Hollywood music. After receiving encouragement to do so from film festivals audiences Six noted that this helped bring out how ridiculous the concept was. Six has stated that some of the crew members did not agree to put their full names in the credits, and adding these same members did not have such reservations about the second part. In order to promote the film, Six distributed 250 hand-signed prints of the film in March 2015,